Alright class, good afternoon once again and uh, welcome to our video and uh, for today, no, for this particular video, we are going to get to know uh, the types of support that we have in mechanics. So basically, we have roller support, pin support, fixed support, uh, simple support, and Moral support? Charat lang, no? So, anyway. <laughs> Alright. So, anyway. Uh, why is this important? It is important to get to know uh, this particular supports class because uh, we want to illustrate no, or to draw a free body diagram that has basically correct numbers of reactions or forces within a particular type of support. Alright. So, we uh, in this video also, we are going to... Uh, briefly discuss the application of uh, these reactions. All right, so let's go over with our uh, MS whiteboard. I'll just go ahead and transfer that to our MS whiteboard. All right. Okay. So basically, no, in this particular support, no, we have roller supports. It only holds vertical supports. All right. So it can also resist only vertical loadings all right so what i what are you talking about sir okay so i am referring to the first support no so roller support all right so for this particular roller support class now if we have uh, something like this or uh, maybe something like this no like that or like that all right so basically those are roller supports so it is said to be that it can only hold vertical supports all right so vertical forces it can only hold vertical reactions also so if we have an example beam here and we basically load this one as uh, our roller support and we have a pin support around here it can only hold a vertical reaction all right so only that particular reaction let me change this one to red okay so only that particular reaction okay so roller support all right so let's just say reaction one okay at this particular roller support now uh in pin support oh, there's a difference okay so do a sha all right <laughs> So again, no. Uh, in pin support, it can hold basically horizontal and vertical reactions. So basically, no, since it can hold horizontal and vertical reaction force, it can also resist no vertical and horizontal loads. All right. So basically, if we have another load, no, another type of load which is a horizontal load applied to this particular system. Okay. So we have P horizontal pH. And our uh, pin support will be able to, res to resist our horizontal support pH. Okay. So basically, at a force of pH. So since we have uh, two reactions here no? at our uh, pin support, no? the vertical reactions. So R2. R2. Uh, since this is the vertical reaction, R2Y. Let's just say R2Y. And again, it can hold a horizontal reaction r 2 x all right so uh, basically for this particular diagram no? sir how about the r1 or how about the reaction one can it hold or can it resist uh, horizontal reaction again no why because it can only hold vertical reactions no kana lang siya all right so all the force that is applied to pH or the pH that is uh, horizontal force pH no, will be counteracted by our reaction R2x. All right. So if we have, uh, if we have, for example, let's just say let we have uh, 10, uh, 10 newton force applied by pH. Therefore, our horizontal reaction is also 10 newton. Right to make it in equilibrium. Alright, so too much for that. Alright, let's move on to another type of support. We have fixed support. No? So, money ang mga support na nag na. Charot lang. No? Fixed na. <laughs> fixed na ilang life. Charot. No? So, sana all. <laughs> Alright, so again, fixed support. So, basically, our fixed support no, can hold up to three. No? 
Tolo, no? Toloka reactions. Basically, we have the horizontal, we have the vertical, and the moment reactions. Therefore, it can also resist three loads. All right, we have the horizontal, we have the vertical, and we have the moment loads. All right, so with that, allow me to illustrate, no? How, how does that particular uh, fixed support sir will uh, basically uh, drawn in a free body diagram. All right, so let's just copy this one. No, so we have uh, that particular support. No, we have a fixed support here. So imagine this one that we have a uh, beam there and this is a column. No, so basically we don't represent the column for this particular problem or this particular representation. But uh, let's just say it's there. All right, so we have a small here. All right, okay. So basically, class, if we draw a free body diagram for a fixed support, there are three reactions that it can hold, all right? So if we put an applied uh, force here, for example, applied force P, okay? So what are the possible reactions in this particular support, all right? So we have basically the vertical reaction. You have the R vertical reaction vertical no? and we have the horizontal no? r h and we also have the moment counteracting the turn r so we have moment at this particular load so basically our fixed support can hold at least three now sir if i put for example, sir, I put that uh, our my force P is 1 Newton and then at the distance of uh, 1 meter. No? Okay, so what will be the value of my RH? So basically, the value of R, your RH is 0 because there is no horizontal force. But if it happens to have a horizontal force, then uh, your uh, reaction horizontal should counteract the horizontal reaction how about my moment sir right so the value of your moment should be uh, our force p multiplied by its distance to going to the support right so one newton times one meter so the value for our moment should be one newton meter all right and the value for our reaction here should be uh, in order to uh, balance it out no for in order to have an equation balance equilibrium therefore our result uh, our reaction vertical should also be one newton all right so simple support uh, for the simple support class no basically it's just the same with our roller support it can hold only vertical loads no it can hold only vertical loads and it can also resist only vertical loads now let's uh, have some applications here all right so let's just say we have a force p here no? force p and we have both reactions and uh, reaction one and reaction two for a simply supported beam sir now i have a question if i i am going to put a diagonal load here with an angle of 60 degrees no basically no so P2, let's just say let's go we'll have P2 there. Alright, so at a certain distance. Okay. So in this particular applications, this particular uh, this uh force P is already counteracted by our reactions. Okay, so vertical. And we know that P2 has two components. Okay. So what are the components? We have P vertical and P horizontal. Alright. So now since we already have a P horizontal, huh? we already have a P horizontal, then there should be a reaction given in our pin support or horizontal reaction. Horizontal reaction in our reaction 1 or support 1 since this is a pin support. And remember, huh? remember that our pin support will be able to handle horizontal loadings. So our roller support will not be able to carry any of the horizontal loading, but it can help carry the vertical load. Alright? So, that's it. No? That's it for this video. I hope that you have learned something from me today. Bye!